Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today, especially I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. Um, I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, like, and even share. It would greatly be appreciated. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get positive feedback. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and seeing what's up with your girl today. And for my, lo my loving subs, my returning subs, well, all y'all are loving subs, but my returning loving subs, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Much love to you. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. Ooh, excuse me. I know. Sorry. Itching. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I said, you, I haven't did that in a while, so I make a video and I start busting out laughing or my, my nose starts itching. But yes, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Look at, hey, Okas, look at your, your negative situation in a positive light. Look at your negative situation in a positive light. Today, my um, meditation music is called uh, Music Namaste. And I will put that link in the description box below. Yes, look at your negative situation in a positive light. You always know, it's just like the way I label my situation is a beautiful tragedy. It's a beautiful tragedy. You should always look at your situation as a beautiful tragedy because you might go through some tragic things, but you will have a beautiful, when you can look at it in a positive way, you will have a beautiful aspect of life at the, at the end of that, end of that road. You know, you might be going through some tragic stuff. You just look at it. I'm going through a beautiful tragedy because it's just like when you go through something so traumatic, and you're able to live from it, you're able to survive from it, you're able to just set free, you know you the ish, <laughs> you know you you know, you know can look at yourself and pat yourself on the back, saying, you know what, this was supposed to kill me, maybe the next person wouldn't mind, might have not gotten through this the way I've gotten through this, but I made it, you know, when you go through situations the way you do, it might be hard at that time and it's just you have to look at your situation and think of it for what it is it's like what can I learn from this situation what lesson is it trying to teach me what do I need to enhance for myself what is the situations that I need to change those are the questions you need to ask yourself so I ask myself these questions every day you know why am I put in the situation I am you know and it's just like this is something from your past life that you're still going through. Okay. What lesson is it bringing me? Patience. Faith. Strength. That's what my, my beautiful tragedy has brought me. You know, um, what have I enhanced out of it? Learning how to love myself more. Have more self-respect for myself, looking at things for what they are, learning more about myself, you know, loving myself, and it's just, this situation has brought me joy, even though it brought me pain, it's brought me more joy than pain, because it's just like, even though the truth really hurts on my situation, I can be able to appreciate it, instead of dealing with the lie, you know, because it's just like, going through this situation has brought me through so much closure, even though I haven't got all the answers that I need to have. But it's just when it can bring me out to a to a different aspect, and I've been making videos, <clears throat> able to heal from the things that I'm going through, even though my situation may be difficult at times. I try to always look at the positive situation out of it, just knowing that you know is bringing something positive to me because I'm helping people heal. I'm helping people know more about themselves, being able to know what they are and why do they do the things that they do. So, you know, I have to look at those things for what they are, you know, even though I might not have the answers to why I had to go through this when it comes to my father, but it's like it has brought so much meaning to my life when it comes to him, you know, knowing how much there was love in between us that 
is able to, you know, even though I don't, you know, I question myself like, you know, if my mom's living or, you know, I wonder how she's doing or if she's looking for me or, you know, stuff like that. But it's just the situation when I can look at it as a different perspective as in a positive one so much and never try to not ever, you know, put it in a negative situation or in a negative aspect because it's just like when you go through things, you go through things, but it it's not supposed to kill you. It's only supposed to make you stronger. And we ask ourselves these questions like, you know, Dad, did I really deserve this? But at the end of the day, when all that's said and done, and when you're able to heal and you're able to learn from that and be able to pass on and use it as a tool for somebody else or whatever, you never know what you're capable of doing if you have that mindset. You know, you have to have that self-confidence, that inner confidence, that you know, that hunger, the drive, the passion, to be able to get through the things that you have to go through because it's just like you have to tell it. You, you know, you have to tell yourself, I'm not going to let this beat me. I'm not going to, you know, give up on what I need to keep doing. You know, I'm not going to sit up here and worry about what people say about, you know, what I'm going through, you know, because it's just, it's your life. You know, no matter what people think about it or what people say is, at the end of the day, it's your life and you have to be the one that has to live it. But you have to just make sure, you know, you're going down that path that you're supposed to. Are you living to survive or are you, you know, actually living to be living? You know, you got to be asking yourself these questions. But I'm not trying to hold you up today. Sped up. Yeah. Push out as much love and light as possible. I'm getting tongue tied today. So I'm not trying to hold you up. I'll keep you in my prayers. And I hope you definitely get me in yours. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Even hit your girl up. Give me a positive feedback. It will greatly be appreciated. Like and subscribe. Even share this video. And I'll see you on later. Peace. And be wild.